I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. Governor Kim Reynolds and other state officials today are warning Iowans about the dangers of fentanyl-laced counterfeit pills. Reynolds says opioid overdose deaths have increased in Iowa by 64 percent since 2019. And illicit fentanyl was implicated in the vast majority of Iowa's opioid overdose deaths last year. State officials say counterfeit pills are made to look exactly like prescription drugs like OxyContin and Xanax, but can contain lethal doses of fentanyl. They say Iowans should only trust pills prescribed from a reliable legal source and should inform local law enforcement of suspicious pills. A number of exotic snakes were discovered in a Sioux City home last night after one of them got into a neighbor's house. That's according to a press release from the Sioux City Police Department. A neighbor found a boa constrictor and feeder mice in his home. Police were called to 4624 Harrison Street and found the snakes and feeder mice. Animal control officials removed the snakes as well as the mice and they were sent to the Sioux City Animal Adoption and Rescue Center. The owner wasn't home and the name has not been released. The city's legal department is reviewing the incident and police are still investigating. J.D. Shulton has been named as the political director for Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Michael Franken. Both live in Sioux City. Shulton has twice previously run for the 4th District Congressional seat of Iowa. He's currently running unopposed for the District 1 seat in the Iowa House. The Sioux City Council last night awarded a $40,000 service provider agreement to create a lighting system for a Fustel court at Riverside Park. Fustel is a kind of soccer that's played indoors on a much smaller court. Usually, this one will be outdoors, however. The smaller field size ensures a game of Fustel is fast-paced and more intense, with more opportunity for goal scoring. A mini-pitch system measuring 60 by 120 feet was installed just north of Leif Erikson's tennis courts in 20. 20. And the University of South Dakota is moving ahead with expanded alcohol sales at its athletic events, according to the Argus Leader. South Dakota Athletic Director David Herbster made the announcement yesterday. Herbster says many logistical challenges remain, though, before implementation. On June 23rd, the South Dakota Board of Regents approved an expanded alcohol policy for South Dakota public universities, allowing the sale of alcohol in general admission areas of athletics and arts events. Under the previous policy, alcohol sales were limited to select box seats and loge areas. That's Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.